Just so you guys know, in three days, I'm going to be a much more mature person. I'm going to be a 20-year-old. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a huge You're a little immature for me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, K-Babe. And today, we got a special Q&A from the teen dad because in three days, he will no longer be a teen dad. Yes, this video is actually recommended. I never thought to do something like this, and I don't know why because I feel like I'm interested for this too. Like I'm super excited to hear Oscar's answers. I'm a little so nervous. thank you so much for recommending it and thumbsing up it if you did so that I saw it. And I'm really excited, so let's just jump right in. Bring on the questions, girl. Bring on the questions. <laughs> Question number one is from Oh Ball, it's Emily. By the way, this is off of Twitter. What are some of the challenges you've faced from being a teen parent? I feel honestly, I feel like just the judgment from other people mm -hmm. and how young, like that's how bad it sounds to be that young. Finding financially, we I think in the beginning, first, yeah, yeah, like getting the getting a job mm -hmm. was a little bit tougher. Um, luckily, when we moved to Montana, they had more job yeah, opportunities. Yeah, way more job opportunities. They had cheaper housing over there too. I mean, renting and all that. This YouTube is a very, very, very like judgmental place at mm -hmm. times. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it that was that was probably the hardest part too. I feel like also for being um, a teen dad, but also like teen parents in general, being young automatically as, makes people assume like, oh, they need my ignorant. advice, yeah. or that we're oh, or yeah, like especially having a teen at, I mean, having a baby at our a teenage age, basically, mm -hmm. it just it people already assume we're ignorant, we're dumb, we didn't use protection, like yeah. all that stuff, and. and yeah. No. I guess it comes with the territory. Exactly. Next question is from at OK and Levi. Being a teen dad yourself, do you worry about Ladybug wanting to get pregnant at a young age or younger? Yes, I do. Especially because I see the pattern between my parents. Mm -hmm. They do parents. say it, yeah. Like, I see my grandparents had kids at a very young age. My mom had kids at a very young age. I had kids at a very young age. So it does worry me, but... I, and I honestly do not know how I could stop. Like, I wish I could... I wish I... I could stop, like, stop it at my generation, you know what I mean? Because I would never take it back. I wouldn't want to be the one to, like, stop the train, especially because we got yeah. Levi and Minibug. But There's... I wish I could tell, like, Levi and Minibug, like, Something different. I don't know. I, I feel like know. there's so much greatness. We would never take it back in no, a million yeah. years. We would do it all over again. If we found out the future, we'd do it all over mm -hmm. again. But you don't wish that for your own child because not. we are very fortunate, you know? It could have gone a lot worse oh, for yeah. us. You know, if we stayed in LA, we wouldn't be in this situation. Oh, no. Even with YouTube, we wouldn't be in this situation. So I just think that, you know, it, it you, you don't want that for your own child. Even if you don't necessarily regret it, it doesn't mean that you don't want that for your own child, especially Oscar is a very protective person and I don't think he realizes how protective he's gonna be over Minibug as mm -hmm. much as I do. Like I know that if she even has a boyfriend, he's gonna freak out well, to me, thing, not to her. The thing I'm most worried about is honestly them the guy not being prepared if it was Minibug to, like, yeah. if Minibug had one, the girl, no matter what, the mother, I feel like, is always the one to stay with the baby. The dad, and I know this sounds terrible, and I hate this about our society, but people don't expect the dad to stay at that age. And yeah. that is so dumb to me. Like, I yeah. love you guys, and you guys are very supportive towards us, but I, it makes me feel a little weird when people are like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy that you stay. Like, I'm so glad yeah. you stay. Like, Oscar, you're such a good person for staying. It's like, it that should not be the bar, like, yeah. That we set, you know what I mean? That should not. That should be the bar we set. I mean, like, oh, the dad stays. That should be normal. It shouldn't be like, oh my god, he's such a good human being for staying. Like, yeah, no. like congratulate you. No, for yeah, exactly. Staying. Like, it should be normal. Mm -hmm. It would be weird if you left. Exactly. Where it's weird if you stay. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it's definitely a society thing, and not all moms do stay. You know what I mean? That we're not saying a hundred percent, but I do feel like it is more common for dads to leave, and that that is really unfortunate. I feel like. <sighs> I feel like we're just being very hypocritical, you know what I mean? It is. Not being new. a parent, I feel like, is hypocritical because there's things you do as a parent, but you don't want yeah, your exactly. child to do it. Yeah. But I think that's just, that's that's absolutely normal. Every parent is hypocritical in one way or another, but you only want the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question is from at Valerie, and she says, How did you imagine your life at 20 years old? Five years ago. I imagined myself just being a partier. At <laughs> 20? That's what you wanted to at do 50, at 20? I wanted to do that at 21, like that. From, yeah. If from 15 till I was like 25, I wanted to just live a party life, go to college, you know, do all that stupid stuff. 
but honestly, I'm so glad I'm not doing that. Yeah, and I, I mean, Oscar, I feel like you did go through your party phase, so you got that out of your system. It's not like you've never no, yeah, done exactly. anything, so you don't have that like craving, I guess, mm -hmm. that some people get. But yeah, I feel like you five years ago would have never said oh, I wanted the baby. cool. I wanted to have a nice car, you know. I wanted to be a little flashy and like go to the parties and be like the man to walk in like, oh yeah, I'm here. You know? <laughs> I wanted to be that dude, but now I realize that dude is douche. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is the douche. Her second question is, if you had one wish for something material, what would you wish for? A house? Huh. That's not materialistic. But yeah, it is. I want, I need no, a house. materialistic is like, well, I guess it can be, but I think she means like, well, I would wonder, what do you want that maybe isn't, a smart investment, but like you still want it. Materialistic. A Ferrari. <laughs> I hate guys that have cars as their answer. Like cars just drive you from point A to point B. Yeah, but still, it's like something I could never get. You know what I mean? A Ferrari, maybe one day, but right now I could never get a Ferrari. In this very moment, there's no possible way I could get a Ferrari. So Unless you like, go into major debt. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't even think it. a bank would let you. Oh no, that's like that's like leasing a house. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next question is from Matt, okay, and Buggy. What are some stereotypes you heard about being a teen parent that aren't true? They don't know how to raise a baby. They they don't know what they're doing, which I guess goes hand in hand with not raising a baby. They don't care as much about their baby. Like they want to go out and party and they'll leave their baby with other people. And I just, just, they can't provide for their baby, which that, okay, there's one thing that bothers me a lot. And it's when people say teen parents aren't ready because they're not financially stable. That's not what makes you ready. I feel like what makes you okay. ready is if you're willing to put your life behind there. If your kid is your everything and you want to succeed for your son and be something for your son or daughter or whatever, you that is what makes you ready. Yeah. I, I don't think financially, so, dude, there are some parents out there who got millions and millions of dollars, but a nanny Terrible takes care of their parents. kids. They never see their kids and never hang out with the kids. They just throw money at them like, here you go. Mm -hmm. I honestly, and I truly believe, I am way more prepared than those parents have ever no, been. No, yeah, money, money, you, it's a tool. you need Money it. helps, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, a, it's a great tool, but money does not make you prepared, and I feel like yeah, that's so dumb. Money does not define the parent that you no, are. No, 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 money, no. you do need money in the sense that your baby needs to eat formula or food, and you know, You need to be able to grow. provide, Yeah. But. I, I just think that and even if you don't have money to provide if you're willing to find a way to provide if you're willing to go out of your way and be like like provide everything you can give everything to your child I do not see how that is less prepared than someone's got a million dollars and yeah. just throws money at people to take care of their kids. I yeah, and it. people think also like being a teen that you like moms and dads but moms too like that maybe they won't have the instinct I feel like you either are drive. born with the instinct yeah. or you aren't. Like you're either a good mom. I mean, mom I'm sure people later in life they are more. Yeah, yeah they, they get like, okay, now I want to settle down. I've had my fun. Now I can be focused on my child. Yeah, and that does make sense. And I do get a lot of teens have other priorities at our, our age. Than yeah, it to is. Take it care is very likely that teens, you know, aren't good parents, and because of their priorities being mixed up. But I feel like that's that's what makes teens. Like the stereotype of teen parents bad mm -hmm. is that most teens don't want to take care of kids. Yeah. They have no drive to. And I know a few teen parents, and I know a few teen parents that are great teen parents, I and know I know a few are that are yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Like terrible. And there's always some excuse. Like it's just one night. I'm just going for a few days. It's just this. It's just that. And it's like honestly, if you and it's okay to you know go out and hang out with the girls every once in a while, drink every once in a while. But if you're doing it. More, yeah, yeah more like, than like more. I don't even know. I don't even know what the, I don't like, know the limit, limit is. Yeah, yeah, but I, w I mean, there's no excuse. You're just a parent. Like, mm -hmm. there's not. I don't know. I just think that it does suck because there is bad parents that are young, and then it becomes categorized as teen parents. But if you're a bad parent as an adult, yeah. you're just a bad parent. It doesn't make the rest of the parents look bad. It does, it's just yeah, on you. Exactly. It's just that one parent. Yeah. I get it. The majority of teens do not want to take care of a child. And I honestly believe a majority shouldn't. But if we are prepared and we are willing to sacrifice everything for our son, who are you to tell us not to? You know what I mean? Yeah. At KK okay and Baby says, if you weren't a teen dad, what do you think you'd be doing in your life because you already graduated, such as jobs, sports, etc.? Honestly, I'd probably be a, a little bit more in shape considering like sports and stuff But my job I'd still be at a manager at the vape shop probably vaping my life away 
tasting juices, getting so excited that the new juice came out. Oh, did you try that thing? <laughs> Talking Lame. stupid like that, I know. Yeah. So honestly, I'm so glad like this helped me mature a lot. I feel like I, I was just like a stupid kid that just consistently made jokes and 90% of them weren't funny. That 10% of the time, I did have a funny joke and I was like, oh, that makes it all worth it. You know, 90% of the time I look like a loser, but. I think that the thing is, is like, you do need to be a teenager and live life. It's okay to say those stupid words that don't make any sense, like fire or like. Lit, that's a Yeah, one. Oh. whatever <laughs> it is, like, it's okay to do those things, especially like, that's normal. You go through it, we'd still be doing it. But it does feel good to grow up and know that we're out of that bubble. Like now that we're out of it, we're like, thank God. I but can if see we the weren't... future now. Back yeah. then it was just like, what am I gonna do tonight? Who am I gonna be talking to tonight? <laughs> what am I gonna be doing? Like as in, you know what I mean? <laughs> At Oscar Kira Bug, what is something you want to be doing right now that you can't because you're a teen dad? More focused on my health, but that's more because of like all the work we're doing with YouTube and stuff. That's not really because I'm a teen dad. Mm. Or like a dad in general. Stuff that I can't do because honestly nothing. What can I do? You could take care of him because when I wanted to go do something, I wanted to do my own, and I could take him to do anything else. I feel like something simple but something true is like taking a nap when you want, or like taking a shower when you want, or little things like that. I feel. No, like yeah, I guess I guess those are things I don't want to do anymore though. But I I mean taking a nap I would like to do every once in a while. But stuff like video games I probably can't do anymore. Um, sitting Thank down God. and getting to watch TV all day I can't do anymore, but I'm kind of glad I can't do that yeah. stuff anymore. Yeah. But just simple things like yeah, getting to mess around, bringing friends over to party all night I can't do anymore. Yeah. Turn the parties in our apartment. <laughs> okay, next question is um, from Oscar Kira Bug. She says, what were your intimate, <laughs> intimate, immediate feelings right after Kira told, she, told you she was pregnant with Buggy? The first thing, like, I got excited, but the second after I got excited, I was like, oh, what does this mean? You, know you could mean? see it in his face, yeah, too. Yeah, like, all of a sudden, I just, like, all my emotions just went onto overdrive, and then I was, like, feeling so many things. Like, I was scared, I was happy, but I was nervous. I was like, what the heck, Kira? How did this I happen? I have to tell my parents I have to get money, yeah, but I'm happy, but my parents... I have to move parents... out. I mean, just... A bunch of things. Yeah. I, I can't. We can't afford it living in LA. Like, are we gonna be stuck with our parents our whole life? Or are we gonna be able to like get out of being in that little like system yeah. that everyone thinks you're gonna be in forever since you have a Because we teenage before kid? we had Levi, we thought the same of teen parents in a sense that other people do. Like, we're like, oh, we're they're we're gonna not, be stuck in poverty. Yeah, forever. We're gonna be like, stuck in yeah, poverty. Yeah, I thought like stuff like that. I was just stressed out, but I don't know. I took it one day at a time, and every single day just got easier and easier until. Until he was finally born. I feel like the hardest part though was towards the end of Kira's pregnancy. When it was so close to happening, but it felt like it was still so far away, you know what I mean? Like why was it hard? I, Cause that's when I was like, crap, I've gotta get my crap together, you know what yeah. I mean? I gotta get everything together and I was still like so lost and I still wasn't sure like, mm -hmm. how, how am I gonna do this? And just like, it was all, it was, I don't know, it was all coming down, you know what I mean? Like I feel like in the beginning I had all this time and then towards the end I was like, dude, you've got this much time to get everything yeah. together. So I don't know, I think that Oscar did pretty well as far as like any reactions or anything. The only thing that was hard for Oscar and I is Oscar is a little bit, different with like dealing with emotions in the sense of like crying or sadness he has a hard time understanding like he wants an answer and i think that's most males like they want an answer why are you sad what fix it you know and because you don't always have an answer especially when you're pregnant you're like i don't know i'm just sad you know it, that was hard for us okay next question this is my favorite question but you have you can't be like so simple you have to think um, this question is by Ashton DK12. What is your favorite part about being a dad? Try not to make it simple. Yeah, it's don't just like just laugh. No, it's like having someone look up to you so much. I've said this a bunch of times, but I thought that was too simple for you. Just having someone look up to you and admire everything you do. It's a little stressful at, some, at times because you're like, you realize that you shouldn't have done something you did right in front of the kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, I was chewing gum, and he doesn't have gum in his mouth, obviously, he's too little. But I hear him, I just hear him, because he was in the movie, I just hear him... <laughs> like, trying to make the chewing the noise. noise. And he would stare in my mouth, and then I would, I kind of chew gum kind of nasty, so I'm... And he could see my tongue, so he would go... It was so funny, you guys, I wish we would have recorded it, and then Oscar's like, here, come look. So I come over and look, and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he's not even looking at Oscar anymore. He's just looking around. Yeah, like pretending like he's chewing gum. I was like, oh, that's so cute. But that's how you know, like he looks. Up yeah, like and he wants his to parents. be. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely an awesome part. And I feel like now that he's getting older, you can see it more and more, like. Him trying to do what you do, or or being proud of him. I didn't. I've never understood when parents are like, "I'm so proud of you," but like being proud of him. Like when he stood up today, when he stood up for like on his own for the first time, it's just like, like he's doing it. Like yeah. it's almost like a better feeling than if you accomplish something. Yeah, because it's like. I don't know, someone you're molding basically is yeah. accomplishing something right before your eyes and getting yeah. bigger and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's a crazy thing. It, it is, it definitely is, I love that. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for this q and A. I I thought it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, a lot of fun. And it I got feel me like, thinking. yeah, I put Oscar's mind to work and I've never really asked him these questions, like, I don't know, I've never really gotten his answer even though I think I know the answers. So thank you guys for your awesome questions, there was a lot of really good ones and I'm thank sorry you. this video thank was like you. probably 30 or 40 minutes long, but I hope that you guys enjoyed as much as we did, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!